We've all been stretched these last few years and continue to do so. It's meant that most of us have had to dig deep into our mental resilience reserves. So how about looking at it a different way and find your superpower? That's what you'll gain from my guest today. Let's say hello to nationally syndicated radio show host and a well-known and well-loved BVTV guest. Welcome, Mitch Graff. Hello, Mitch. Malcolm, good morning. Yes, I always enjoy our conversations. And when you asked me to be part of this launch of your SpotLearn product, it got me really excited. <laughs> Thanks for delivering this SpotLearn lesson. Over to you. Oh, absolutely. So anyway, today we're going to talk about superpowers. And I think we all have an idea that we, we're, we're loaded with 15 different superpowers. The problem is we only have time for one or two or three during a typical day. So we want to talk about how to find your superpowers, some different steps. I also want to talk a little bit about time management and maybe a little bit of lifestyle design throw in just for good measure. So before we start, I kind of want to plant a seed in your brain and I call it the 24-7 mentality seed. We all have a definition of 24-7, meaning 24 hours a day, seven months a year. My definition, and what I want you to think about as we're going through this, this few minutes of content, if you could figure out a way to get all your work done, whatever that is, whatever your job is, whatever your business is, if you can get it done and only work 24 hours a day, seven months a year, and then the rest of that time you could use to do with whatever you want, whether, whether you invested it back into your business, invested into training, invested into yourself, into your kids, your families, your friends, would you be willing to work 24 hours a week? And right now, if y'all could put up your hand, I imagine that most of you would. The trick is how do you figure that out, right? So change is something that we've all went through a massive amount the last couple of years with COVID, business shutdowns, business openings. You have to be willing to risk a little bit or a lot in order to move the ball forward. Change is just something that happens. We love routines. We like comfort zones. We don't like surprises. We're creatures of habits. We take the same route to work every day. We put salt and pepper on our food. We listen to the same kinds of music. So part of business transformation is being willing to change a little bit. Now, I recommend if you always put salt on your food, try not doing that. Try a different route to and from work. Try a different brand of toilet paper. Shake things up in your life, and you'll be amazed at how, how that does affect you a little bit. I remember back when a loaf of bread was 29 cents. My mom's first car she bought was $3,000. It was an old Toyota Corolla white station wagon. It was awesome. Gallon of gas, 30 cents. <laughs> remember those days? <laughs> Incredible. Friday night dating out cost you $20, and we only had four stations on, on TV. Uh, here from 1972, a filet of fish at McDonald's was 48 U.S. cents. Cheeseburgers, 33 cents. Times have changed. So I did a survey, and I've done this for over 20 years now. Almost uh, a little bit over 12,000 entrepreneurs and business owners in 2022. Guess how many hours the average entrepreneur works? Think about a number in your brain. Well, you're all wrong. 72 hours a week. That's six to seven days a week. 306 hours a month, 3,744 hours per year. That's the scary stuff. That's the equivalent of eight hour days, 153 of them. So nearly half of the year spent working extra time at your job. Here's the trend. In 2000, that number was 57 hours. And you can see how it's went up, which means that the gurus are out there telling you in order to build the beast, you have to forsake everything, your personal time, your family, your friends. And that's just not the case. So if you are the top dog, if you are the head of the food chain out there, here's your organizational chart. And I imagine this is most entrepreneurs in the world today. We do it all because we think we can. Just because we know how to sweep the, and take out the trash doesn't mean you have to. Just because you know how to answer the phone doesn't mean you have to. Just because you know how to do a social media post, does that mean you have to? Well, I'm here to tell you it's not. We've all heard the 80-20 principle, meaning that 80% of our results for our business come from 20% of our efforts. Well, conversely, 20% of your results comes from the other 80%, <laughs> which is kind of scary. You break it down further, 20% of your clients bring you 80% of your profits, which means that 80% of your clients only bring you 20%. So over the last couple of years, I think that dynamic has changed. And I call it the, the graphs 95-5 principle. Identify 5% of the activities that brings you the biggest results and then do that. That is what your superpower is. 
not everything in the world. Find out what you like to do best and what you do do the best, and that's what you need to do. You can automate, delegate, and eliminate the rest. It's easy to do. There's systems out there that allow you to do this. Identify your biggest time wasters like social media, administrative du duties, and staring at a screen. We all do that. We all go down the rabbit hole from time to time. I did it just a couple of days ago on YouTube watching uh, something for my son's baseball. Before I knew it, I was watching a replay of the 1988 World Series with my Dodgers. That was a waste of time. <laughs> Put people around you that are smarter than you. And then you kind of stay out of their way and you let them do their thing. That's what good managers and good leaders do. And that frees up their time. So once you eliminate the activities that bog you down, you start to free up all this amazing time. And you can put that time back into your business. You can take some time to yourself, invest it into your, your friends and kids, like I mentioned earlier. Basically, you can get twice as much done in half the amount of time. That should be exciting for you out there if you are someone that feels like you're always too busy. Here's a couple of points on social media. And this is not a talk on social media, but I think we're all falling prey to this and it, it can bring your business down very quickly. Give yourself an hour in the morning before you look at your device. Invest it in yourself, read, listen to music, do something yourself before you respond to what the world's demands are of you. Create device-free zones in your house. Definitely at mealtime with your kids and everything, don't allow people to, like in this picture here, everyone's sitting there at the, at the dinner table or having a cup of coffee on their phones. Wrong answer. And set up a block of time, or I call it a pod, where you can spend on social media. I recommend 15 minutes in the morning, not an hour, and 15 minutes later in the day, not an hour or more. Uh, and consider hiring or delegating the social media content and postings, interactions, Consider delegating that to somebody in your organization, or there's virtual assistants all around the world that can do this for literally pennies per post. So I want you to consider that. So here's some takeaways for you. Please embrace change. It's part of your business growth. It is part of your future. Uh, and you have to be able to go from plan A to plan B when necessary. Uh, that's, the, that's the sign of a good leader. Understand that spending more hours working does not equal more getting, getting more done. It's, there's not a direct correlation there. The people say, oh, yeah, I, I'm a very hard worker. Well, I don't care about that. Are you a smart worker? Are you doing the things that move the needle on your business? And you need to understand that 5% of your daily activities brings you 95% of your results. Figure out ways to slough off the other 95%. That's where magic starts to happen. So here's your homework. Identify what your most important 5% is and then do just that. Okay? Magic will begin to happen in your business and your life once you kind of figure that out. So with that said, I want you guys to have an awesome day. Sit on the back deck with a cup of coffee and a notepad and a pen and give yourself some, uh, some creative ideas. Give yourself the creative freedom to be able to come up with different ideas for the future of your business. You'll be amazed at what happens. Brilliant, Mitch. Brilliant. I really enjoyed that. And um, I was just thinking about some of the elements that you were talking about which were the, obviously the uh, what to do in the morning, that hour. Well, my wife will jump on that. She'll remind me <laughs> that I have to take her, her cup of tea and talk about all the things that she wants to talk about, such as uh, what am I making for dinner that day? <laughs> uh, thanks, well, and Mitch. those no. are what bring value to our lives, isn't it? It's, it's the, not always it, about it, the work. It, it, is, it is. It is. It is. It is. Let's just let's just leave you behind your screen behind there and uh, get ourselves back to talking together again. Oh, we? there we go. I'm sorry about yeah, that. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> lovely to get you back again, but in, in big screen. I really enjoyed that spot. Spotlight. Thank you. And it's so spot on. So spot on. Um, and uh, you know, let's just get everybody energized. And 95.5, I'm all for that as well. Now, just before um, we finish this, let me just remind people of your URL. Now, there are two URLs that you want to be uh, noticing there. You'll have seen on Mitch's uh, presentation there. There's the, all the W's, all the W's dot powermarketing101.com, powermarketing101.com. And of course, he's got www6 hyphen star dot org. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Take care.